As some of you may have noticed, I didn't upload a video last week. I was on a camping trip with some friends. We got there Monday afternoon and we left Wednesday morning, which makes uploading a video on Tuesday, especially without Wi-Fi, quite difficult. John Green has a recurring series on the Blog Brothers channels called Thoughts from Places, and in homage to the whole reason this channel exists, welcome to Idlewild, also known as Bug Hell, or rather, welcome to a hiking trail not far from Idlewild. Like I said earlier, we drove up Monday and fooled around a bit setting up tents and hammocks and other stuff. We went on a quick 40 minute hike, but quickly came back down for dinner before night fell. That night, one of my friends and I sat around the little fire we had set up and just watched the stars. Most people had gone to bed pretty early, and we found just the two of us sitting there, looking up at a brilliant night sky that I hesitate to describe, because I think that trying to describe it is a pointless act. I could say that the sky looked like a giant black canvas that a god had strung up above the ground and then taken a needle and ever so gently pricked little holes in it so that small glimmers of light could make their way to my eyes. But even that loses the wonder, as the sky fills the view, and a description can't evoke the same breathless wonder I felt as I looked up. I briefly considered taking out my phone and recording it, but quickly realized that would be pointless for two reasons. The former, that my phone camera could not even begin to capture the sky, and the latter being that my phone, as it often does, has run out of battery. That was kind of an ongoing theme for the trip, my phone being very low or out of battery. I've gotten used to it over the last year or six months or so. The battery was fine prior to then, but my phone being dead was something that doesn't happen very often. The camping trip, I must say, was good for that. Having no cellular data means that there's often not a reason to have your phone on in the first place, and having it dead is a good solution. The next day, we woke up, and after eating breakfast and prepping some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, we headed out to do a 9 or 10 mile hike up to the summit of Tokwitz Peak, the local mountain. As we started hiking up, I was reminded of some of the other hikes I've done in Southern California. The scenery was, well, beige, I guess, with a thick layer of pines providing more of a dark green than the olive green and dead brown shrubbery I'm used to. After maybe an hour and a half of countless switchbacks, we made it to the ridge of the mountain range, where the scenery transformed into what looked like the hiking trails around Lake Tahoe. Layers of brown dirt replaced the dust, but the pines remained, although perhaps a little bit thinner than they were at the bottom. As we hiked along, eventually we came to the final part of the hike. The dirt faded away into gravel, and the granite boulders and walls of the peak blocked most trees from growing. The granite face looked like something out of the Yosemite Valley. On the top of the peak, we found a little fire watch tower, and got a beautiful view of the valleys below. The hike was probably the most Californian thing I've done. The three different phases of the hike transported me to three different places in the state. And from the peak, we looked down onto the pine-forested town of Idlewild, and also to the fire that had come dangerously close to burning it last July. I took videos of the hike, but I mostly resisted until the way down. For one, because I was carrying the emergency water on the way up. But for two, the reason I already stated. My camera could not even begin to capture the view I saw. I do admit that the camera does a much better job in the day on the peak than in the night watching the stars. But it fails to get the factor that you have to experience. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I feel like it's not... that. On the way down, my phone died again, which made taking videos difficult, but one of my friends was kind enough to let me borrow his. After using it, I immediately returned it. A camera can't capture the smell of pine, or the cool mountain breeze, or the chill of a stream fueled only by snowmelt. It can't capture the feelings I encountered standing on top of Tokwitz Peak, or the gorgeous night sky, or knowing that your leg hairs are burning because you're too close to the campfire. What a camera can do is capture images. Hopefully they're good enough and will bring back the memories of the experience. Camping is fun for a paradoxical reason. As my friend Kaylee put it, the bad camping trips, the ones where you're in the middle of a dust storm or everyone in your family gets sick, those are the best camping trips because of the stories that come out of them. I concur. Idlewild was fun, but Idlewild, as many other camping trips are, was a great escape from society, and our campsite was a little too close to society for my personal taste. 
I didn't have data, but others did, and you could definitely tell who did. Their cameras may have captured the images of the peak, but I just hope they didn't miss the experience.